Welcome to Code Bytes. In this episode, we're going to talk about variables in Python. So let's get started. So variables can contain names. For instance, I can set up a variable of type string and put my name in it. And then I can go ahead and print that variable. Uh, variables can also contain numbers. So I might set up a variable with my age in it. And then I might use that variable in a sentence. So I'll go ahead and print a sentence called my dog Jed is So many years old. Variables can have um, multiple words for their names. For instance, I can set up a variable called jewels, and we'll put rubies in the variable. This is called assignment. The equal sign represents assignment. So I'm assigning rubies to the variable jewels. I'm going to set up another variable called found coins. And I'll put 53 coins in the variable. And then I'll pr print out these variables in a sentence. We might say Carol found 12, and then we'll use the variable and found our variable found coins. Soul and Pirate's Chest. And I have an error. And the reason I forgot I have an error is because I forgot my comma after my and. So I'll go ahead and use the up arrow to go back up to this statement. I can hit enter again. Go ahead and put in my comma and then go to the end here and hit enter again. Now it's saying that EOL, which means end of file, was reached. And that means um, what happened is I, I'm missing my quotes to end my string there. So again, I'll go up to my statement. Uh, I found a spelling mistake. And let me also put in my quotes. And now you can see that my close parentheses will end the file, so I should not get the same error message. And now I see that Carol found 12 rubies and 53, ah, uh, I forgot the word found coins, so I'll go and add one more thing. So I need to add coins and I'll just make them gold while I'm at it and then I'll hit enter so now we have Carol found 12 rubies and 53 gold coins in a stolen pirate's chest variables um, can be named a number of things um, however uh, they cannot start with numbers. So if I try to uh, make a variable called six clowns, and I try to put in the name of the clowns,
Python's going to throw an error. So I'll have to rename this just clowns. So I cannot start with numbers. And then I can go ahead and print the clowns. Um, variables can have symbols in them. Variable names can have symbols in them. So I might make a variable called money and put a dollar sign in there. And so you cannot have string symbols in your variable names either. Now I can print money. Um, variables can start with underscores, although it's not common to use them. And variables can contain mathematical expressions. So for instance, I might say, uh, make a variable and have it contain dog ears. So I'll say dog ears is equal to three. Oops, I forgot my equal sign. And human years is equal to dog years times seven. And then I could print out a statement like my dog Jed is dog years, that means he's three. Which is, and then I can use human years. hit enter and see if there is any errors. And that looks good. So that's some basics of naming variables, assigning text or, or assigning strings or numbers to your variables, and also using mathematical formulas in, in variables. We'll see you next time.